Hey, Pondo. You know, in June 9th, you step in the ring with Jimmy Lyon, and the ironic thing is, you probably have no idea who I am. But boy, oh boy, I know who you are. I've known who you are for a long, long time. I used to look up to you when I was a child. In fact, I remember being 13, having just lost my mother, being down, not knowing what to do. And I went to a pro wrestling show. And I saw you strap light tubes to your chest. <laughs> Dive off a balcony. And end your opponent. And I thought that was just the greatest thing. But after that, you became kind of a hero to me, Pondo. <laughs> I worship you, man! And I did for a very, very long time. I decided to take the leap and get into pro wrestling myself because of you, Bondo. Because of the man from the realm of pain. I worshipped you, Bondo. I idolized you. You were my hero. So much so that in wrestling, just like in life, I wanted to be just like you. I did barefoot thumbtacks because you did barefoot thumbtacks. I got myself thrown in the barbed wire because you were thrown in the barbed wire, Pondo. I wanted to be everything that you were. And then one day I woke up and I realized it was all a lie. That you are not a man to be idolized and worship Pondo. You're a man who built a career on suffering. Now I suffer too, man. I suffer more than anybody else I know. And that's your fault. So you led me down that path. And you don't even know my name. You're probably wondering why I haven't shown you my face yet, Pondo. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. You don't know my name and you don't know my face, but I promise after June 9th, when I'm done with you, you ain't never gonna forget the name or the face of the redneck king of the jungle, Jimmy Lion! Try and stop me, Pondo. Try and stop me.